Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, before I start this video, I just want to say that LA, the rest of our country, uh, we've experienced a really heavy week. Um, and I just want to say straight up off the bat that I will never understand however I stand. All black lives matter. And to all of my black followers, my friends, anyone that I work with, um, we are here for you, we will fight for you, and we will end this racism. I just want everyone watching this video to do their part, whether it's educating other people, whether it's going out to protest, whether it's donating money, even if it's just posting on your social media, you'd be surprised how much we are educating other people by our post and the information that we're sharing. Let's not stop, let's keep it going. We need to see change in our country. We need to see change for our children. And most importantly, we need to see change for our black friends and family. Thank you guys. All right guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be making some agua chiles. Now, if you don't know what agua chiles are, it's pretty much raw shrimp that is cooked in lime juice and it is poured over this spicy green sauce. Now, super good, super delicious, especially on a hot summer day. Um, you want to have this with a nice cold beer. You could serve it out on tostada. You could have it on a bowl with just some tortilla chips and scoop it up or tostada chips, however way you want it. But it is a great, great meal for a nice summer hot day. So I hope you guys are excited for this one. My mouth is watering. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are the ingredients. Um, you're gonna need some raw, large white shrimp. Now take a look that this still has the skin and the tail off. So we're gonna be peeling these um, and slicing them in half. You're gonna need about five to six limes, just depending on the size of your lemon or your limes. Um, and you need enough limes to cover your raw shrimp. And here I have four serrano peppers. Now, depending on the level of spice that you want them, this will depend on how many uh, serrano peppers um, you want. Feel free to start off with three and taste it. And if you need to add another one to make it spicier, you can. Um, I have two garlic cloves in here that we'll be adding to the blender, a bunch of fresh cilantro, and then this is um, some purple onion. And then of course, we'll be seasoning with some salt and pepper. Um, one thing that's not pictured here is our uh, cucumber. Um, I just realized that the one I bought from the store uh, went bad, so I need to go get some cucumber, but you guys will be seeing that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get started by peeling our shrimp. Okay guys, so for step one, you're gonna wanna peel um, all of your shrimp, take off the tail. Here I have my little bag where I'm pulling all my skin. Um, Depeel it, and then I'm gonna pretty much put the um, unpeeled shrimp in this bag. So you're gonna wanna do this to all of your shrimps. Now I have about maybe a pound worth of, yeah, it's exactly a pound and eight ounces worth of shrimp in here. And I think this should be enough to serve maybe around six to eight people, um, probably more depending on, you know, if how, how much people eat. Now, okay guys, so we have um, peeled um, and cut the tails off of all of our shrimp, put it in this bowl. Now, what you're gonna wanna do next is right down the middle. Now this uh, shrimp was already deveined, so that was easy. That'll be easier, you guys will get the deveined one. Um, you're gonna just get a knife and slice it down the middle. Now you're not gonna slice it all the way through, but pretty much just enough to kind of open it up and boom, put it in your, in your tray, wherever you're gonna put it. Um, and then you wanna just lay them out. So once again, you're not gonna slice all the way through, um, just kinda, kinda open it up. Um, Think of it as like you're opening it up like a butterfly. So just slice down the middle, make sure that you don't slice all the way through. And you're gonna wanna do this to all of your shrimps. All right guys, as you guys can see, I've already um, opened up my shrimp. So this is called a butterfly effect where you slice them down the middle, don't slice them all the way through, but you pretty much open them like this. Um, and then you lay them out um, into your tray. Now, once again, I have about, I think there's about maybe five limes in here that I put in half, and you pretty much just need enough lime juice to cover all of your shrimp. So let's go ahead and squeeze in the lime juice. 
And this, what this is gonna do is, um, it's pretty much gonna cook the shrimp, because remember, this is raw shrimp. So the lime juice, uh, the citrus, the acidic in the lime will actually be cooking our shrimp. And uh, this, you could do this to any other, um, like if you have ceviche, um, it, it will also cook in lime. But super delicious, super good. Um, I think my favorite part about this whole meal is that you don't even need a stove um, to, to cook it, right? It's all cooked in lime juice. So especially easy to make when it's hot weather outside. You know, you don't want to turn on the stove. You don't want to make your kitchen hot. You just want to keep things cool. Um, especially with a cold beer. Ooh, this just smacks. Now, my parents are coming over today. So we are doing a little barbecue for them. And this is um, going to be like our little, uh, you know, appetizer snack um, as we go grill outside. Um, so it should be pretty bomb. It's pretty warm today. So I think it's going to hit the spot. Um, and they love agua chile, so it's gonna be awesome. So, as you guys can see, we have enough lime juice. We need a little bit more, um, and then we'll see if we need another one. But this is a total of five limes, and I think I might be needing another one, but we'll see. I am gonna be adding uh, two more limes, um, just because I feel like I have a lot of shrimp in here. So. You want to make sure that you have enough lime juice because this is pretty much your think of this as your your flame that's going to be cooking your shrimp and i don't know if you guys noticed but some of the shrimp is going to is actually turning a little red pink um and that pretty much just means that it's cooking right whenever we cook shrimp on a stove top um shrimp cooks really quick when it's on fire um so yeah you just uh you just need enough um, to cook it and then as you guys can see it's not covered all the way but that's totally fine you just need enough to whereas most of the shrimp is um, in lime juice and if you guys could see here you'll notice that some pieces of the shrimp are kind of turning a little pinkish um, and that's pretty much means that it's cooking so you don't want to take this to the fridge and leave it in there for about an hour but before we do that we are going to season it with some salt And then we have some pepper. Okay, so we cut off the ends of our uh, purple onion. And now when you slice this, you wanna make sure you slice it thin enough and you're gonna just kind of create like, think of it as like half moons. No, just like this, cool. Now I will warn you guys, purple onion will make you guys cry. Um, and if you guys don't like purple onion, then I guess you guys could skip this step, but I feel like you can't really taste it, um, but at the same time, it gives it some flavor. I think it helps it cook as well. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But just wanna make sure you guys cut it um, super thin, not too thick, once again, especially if you don't like purple onion. Okay, we're bringing our shrimp back. Um, I don't know if you get to see that, but it's turning um, pink um, in some areas. That means it's cooking. Here, I'll lift this one up so you guys can see it. Look at that, you see? So it's cooking. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add in our onion. Now we're just gonna wanna put this on top. And then we're gonna give it a little mix and then it'll, they'll open up. All right guys, so we're gonna be adding um, one more lime, um, lime. So that's additional of what, six six limes I think that we added, added in here. Just cause we felt like uh, there's there needs to be a little bit more lime, especially after adding the uh, purple onion. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close this, put this lid on, and we're gonna be putting it in the fridge for one hour so it cooks. We're gonna go ahead and chop off our chile serranos. We're gonna chop off the ends. And we're gonna be putting this into the uh, blender. And then we also have um, two garlic cloves. Now, just depending on your blender, you can just throw them in there. We don't have the, I don't think we have the best blender. It's actually a 
super old. So I'm gonna cut these in half and put them in, in there like this. I cut off the ends. Now, same thing with my garlic clove. I'm just gonna peel off the outer part. I'm gonna chop off the end and then just throw it into the blender. Okay, that took forever. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw in this into our blender. Once again, I have about four chile serranos and then I have two garlic cloves. Throw them into the blender. And then here I have my washed cilantro that I'm also gonna be throwing in here. Now this is, I don't exactly know how much this is, but I'm gonna be throwing that into my blender. And then here's our agua chile lime juice. And as you guys can see, it turned pink. Um, it's cooking in there. We, we left this in the fridge for uh, now a little bit over 45 minutes, but we're gonna be putting it back in there. And we're gonna be transferring this lime juice into the blender um, to make our sauce. So let me go ahead and put this down so I can show you guys how we pour it in. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna grab this juice and I'm just gonna kind of pour it in here, the lime juice. And this is gonna be my base for my green salsa. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on here. And let's go ahead and... All right, so to dice these, um, I'm gonna cut off the ends. And I'm gonna cut it down the middle. And then like my friend Claudia says, we're gonna make some half moons. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to plate our tostada. So I have a tostada right here. Um, I let this marinate in the fridge for another 30 minutes. Uh, let me tell you guys, it smells delicious. I could smell the heat from the, uh, the serrano peppers in here. You got your Persian cucumbers, you got your purple onion, some lime juice. Uh, it smells bomb. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get um, my tostada. I'm gonna pour this on top. Now, some people will add mayonnaise to their base of their tostada. Um, totally up to you guys. Um, I've had them like that before. Um, they are delicious with some um, with some mayonnaise at the bottom. Um, but for now, I'm not gonna do the mayonnaise. I'm gonna get the juice and pour some on here. Now, you wanna be cautious. You don't wanna put too much juice because again, it's a tostada and the tostada could break. So totally up to you guys. Um, how wet, juicy you guys want them. Um, but I think this is perfect. We got our cucumber in here. Mm, I love the cucumbers, especially when they get a little bit soft. Bon. So as you guys can see that, um, we got the juice in there. Everything looks delicious. Now let's go ahead and get a nice cold beer and do a little taste test with these guys. All right guys, here goes the moment you guys been waiting for, the taste test. So I have my tostada on here. It may have gotten a little bit soggy because uh, it took me a, lot, a little while to kind of switch everything around. I have a nice cold Modelo with a lime. And I want to give another shout out to Sip and Dip. They actually sent me um, a whole brand new package of these of this uh, rim paste. They actually sent me two new flavors. This is the tamarindo flavor um, that I have not had yet. So I'm gonna go put this on top of uh, inside my beer and on the rim. Uh, I'm excited to kind of pair this one and give it a try. Um, they've been really nice and sent me um, some more because I was running out. They gave me a new flavor, which is tamarindo and piña. So, should be pretty bomb. All right, so I got my rim paste in there. Probably need to cook a little pull. There you go. Bomb. Now I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze in a lime juice. And I'm also gonna put some extra lime onto my tostada. Put it on in there. Bomb. Okay. Cool, so let's go ahead and get a little bite of this. Ooh, oh, here we go. Mm hmm Oh my God, it's spicy, but it is fire. Mmm. Woo! 
definitely spicy. Because of my beer. Mm. Ah, that tastes so good. Taste, um, and goes another one. Mmm. Mm hmm. Fire. Mmm. It's so spicy. Not so spicy because it's pretty bearable, but I can feel it on my lips. Like my lips are tingling of how spicy this is. But then you want to go get some beer, you know, to kind of help you cool off. Mm. Bomb. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here. Hope you guys had an awesome time. Stay safe. If you're protesting, thank you guys for being out there. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys at the next recipe. Peace.